Hi, George here, and in this video, look at those quote graphics. Now over here underneath the Create option, right there, Quote Graphic, we'll be using that image back here eventually, but first, let's just come in and find a basic quote to start off with. We'll see what we have in here. Happy Holidays, that's not too bad. We'll scroll down a little bit here to see what else we have available to us. It's a thank you card. That might be a good one. We'll do that. We'll do the thank you. And I'll just choose a standard format here, six by four inches right there. Choose OK. And that brings us into the quote graphic dialog box with those basic setups. OK, at this point, if you want to, you can change your background image. You can choose from the computer or from the organizer. We'll choose from computer. Here's our open dialog box right there. This is a collection of free images I found on the internet. Choose open and it replaces that in the background. There we go. Now once we're at this point, we can take these basic elements and move these things around wherever we want. We can resize things if you want to. There you go. Have a resize ability in there. Choose OK. That's good. Let's say I wanted to make some changes on this one in here. It's a text, so let's double click on this. Brings it up as text, as you can see here. I'm going to back up one line here and see if I can make sure that this opens up as just one line. There it is. That's good. Let's widen that up and shrink our box down a bit. Choose OK. OK, that's a bit nicer. It fits in the picture better here, or I could put it over here possibly. That's not too bad. It kind of fits in that top area. I think I like it down here better personally. Looks like a shadowing on the water. Now notice at this point, we have a lot of options over here on the right hand side for the text. I can change the typeface I'm using right there. I can change the type size right here, bold, italic, underline. I can adjust the letter spacing right there. Line spacing works if I have more than just one line. I can change my colors in here, border color, shadow color, put a border on it right there, increase the size of the border. So you have all kinds of options in here to really kind of fine tune how these things look. I'll choose done on that one. Come down to this one, double click in here. Same thing, I can adjust my text in here, same options as you can see. And same thing for this, just double click, brings up that text options. Okay, that's all good. Now at this point, I can change the style of this. Several styles to choose from in there, as you can see. I can bring in new shapes if I wanted to. Lots of possibilities in there are new shapes. And even bring in some graphics as well, just kind of spice things up with some additional graphics. So a lot of options available in here. I don't really see anything in that looks good for this particular image. But there are a lot of possibilities, as you can see, to come in and really make really fun imagery very quickly and very easily with this new tool. I'm just going to reposition those just a bit there. I think that's a little bit better layout. There we go. Now once you're happy with this thing, you can come down here, work on the background, background button right there. I can change the background. A lot of potential options. We're using that photograph instead. You can add in a border or not. There's a border right there. I'll bring our border up a little bit. A little white border. That's kind of nice. There's our text. We can come in and choose different styles in your different style options. This actually changes the basic layout as you can see in there. I'll leave it as is though. That's fine. There's even an animate option in here. Different animations. See if we can get a little sample on this one. Here's our animation one. There you go. It's kind of a bit of a larger on this and smaller on the background, bit of animation. Let's try our animation two in here. A little faster. There we go. Stop that. Let's try animation three. So several different interesting animations that you can do in here. Here's a photo animation. The text stays put, but the photo changes. Here's photo animation too. Again, text stays put. And these are useful if you are setting this as an e-card, you know, a card on the internet. You can do just the text. Stop that one. Do just the text if you want to. Double click. Let's try this one down here. There you go. Text is getting a bit smaller. So lots of fun little animations that can also be added in here. Again, this is for internet use. Now when you're happy with this thing, just go ahead and click on save right there. You can save it out. Now if you're saving it with an animation, it's going to be saving out as a GIF file. Just give it a name. You will then save it as an animated GIF file. If you're not doing any animations, I'll just reset that. If you aren't doing animations, you can save it out. At this point, it'll save out as any file format that you want to save it out as right in there. When you're done, just click on done and it takes you right into the editor. Again, this is not the animated version. This is just a still version. But at this point, I can come back in here and do even more changes if I want to. It's all available here with the layers over on the right hand side.